Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gin Juice Podcast. My name is Melissa. Oh, I thought you were going to say in your juice. And oh, I'm Nell. Mm -hmm. And we are the Gin and Juice Podcast. I'm off in the juice. She's off in the gin. Um, we get on this podcast every single week. We talk about whatever the heck we want to talk to Amen. about. We have lots of laughs. We're real life sisters. I did this all out of order. I'm so Fine. sorry. You want to thank our sponsors too? Yes, I do. We want to acknowledge our podcast sponsors for today. And that is Care of BetterHelp and HelloFresh. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's episode. You'll hear more about them later on. Yeah, yeah. I'm Melissa. And, and I'm Mel. Girl, let me tell you, I only had maybe a little less than half of that drink. When you're drinking, you just got to drink more. <laughs> I am a strongly worded email. Actually, that feels in line, though. That's not That's, true. No, listen. And every now and again, when somebody get out of line, you just yell, pop the truck. <laughs> I'm the juice to her gin. Did we hit record? Is it working? Is it on? We're going to start with this cough that Danny told us happened. to rebuke. But it's been better, y'all. I went to the doctor. And look at you. Hallelujah. Look at God. I went to the doctor. This is what happened. Y'all was in the comments, right? They were. Y'all was in the comments. Hey, they've been telling you to go get they this. Was. They were. They told me. And Danny rebuked me. It was a lot happening, okay? <laughs> but folks in the comments were saying stuff. I said, you know what? You might be right. And then I'm going to tell you what happened. So folks was in the comments like, you might have uh, pneumonia or bronchitis or viral infection. It was like, actually, that's probably what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had bronchitis. We've been in L.A. for 10 years. I've been sick three times, Okay. The first time I had bronchitis, mm -hmm. the second time I had COVID, mm -hmm. and now this time I do, which is why I often don't take medicine or go to the doctor because be normally I don't get sick. Like I just really don't be sick. So I was like, you know what? It's probably bronchitis. I've had it before. That's probably what's going on. Let me take my behind to the doctor. I go to the doctor and me being me, I'm like, hi, I think I have mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bronchitis, pneumonia, or a viral infection. I just need you to tell me that is true and give me the antibiotics and then we can confirm both. Yeah. my doctor Google suspicion. And that's what I told please. him. I was like, hi, I know you're the doctor, but I want you to know However. that I graduated from Google. And what they told me is it's probably one of these three yes. things. So I just need you to confirm that and then send over the prescription. So he does like checks on my lungs. He's like, well, you sound fine. Let's do an x-ray. He does an x-ray. He's like, girl, there's nothing your lungs are fine. Clear. Your oxygen is good. Like uh -huh. there's literally nothing wrong. So um, let's go through like the alternative options. This is where it gets That you didn't look up on Google. That I didn't look up. <laughs> Troy, get out of my business. <laughs> so he says it's a couple things when people have like a persistent cough. Because you guys know that I've had this for like a long time. Yes. He says, do you have allergies? And I'm like, no, never had allergies. I was like, I know you can develop allergies, but like it really, that's not really resonating with me yeah. because like I know my body. He's like, okay, do you have acid reflux? And I said, tell me more about that. Tell, tell me, me more about the reflux of the me, acid that you me, think I have. Tell me more about how the acid reflux could cause a cough. And he says, what happens is that the acid escapes your stomach and then it, comes and like irritates your lungs and it causes you to cough mm, mm -hmm. and the cough wasn't going nowhere because of that reason Ciao. so he put me on this prescription that has been working I have, I, I'm still coughing but I'm not coughing as much which is great and I haven't been having like those like coughing fits but let me tell you the worst part about this, this is why you should go to the doctor don't be me <laughs> be better than me this is why so if you guys remember this is so bad. You could tell. You could say, "Yeah, I told you so." It's fine. You could say, "Yeah, I told you so." Preemptively I, say, yeah, yeah, "I told you, you so." You could tell. You could say, just, "I told you just so." Put that I in there. Already. Yeah, yeah. You, I deserve it. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago, we did our photo shoot for the um, vow renewal, yeah. right? And so when I had did it, I was like, you know, my skin be real crazy. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, let me like get really on top of my skincare, do the thing, so I don't have like a crazy breakout and be stuck on um, this photo shoot and I had like this breakout and I was like oh my god like my skin is normally really resistant why am I having this mind you that was a month ago six weeks ago yes the little marks are still here on my skin you can see them mm -hmm. they're like still there so I went on Friday to my es my esthetician to get a facial I'm like oh my god you know these are still here I don't know what's wrong whatever she was like they were here last time like let's look up what it is and so she's like I think you have rosacea and I was like, first of all, I thought rosacea was a white people. I did too. Do you remember the infomercials back in the day? Yes. And they were always 
Caucasians oh. with like red, red inflamed very, cheeks. Yes. And yes. that's uh, what I always, rosacea. I thought it was rose. Correct. That was, that's the connection. I don't get red. So this don't make sense no. to me. So she was like, I think it's rosacea. So she Googles rosacea on black people. It's like exactly what I have. Like it looks like exactly the same time. It's mm-hmm. the same thing. Mind you, I had already scheduled to go to the dermatologist after this. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the dermatologist. I'm going to do the same thing I did to doctors. So listen, I know you're the dermatologist, but I think I have rosacea. I need you to confirm. Before I could even sit down, he says, I think you're having a rosacea breakout. <laughs> this is the kid, Gary. When you Google... What causes rosacea oh. flare-ups? Mm-hmm. It's the same symptoms and as, triggers as acid reflux. As acid reflux, spicy food, stress, all the things. All the things. Unless I got that four I medical think. degrees, absolutely. Got, they're all interconnected. All from so now I have the cough, <laughs> the acid reflux, and the rosacea because. I'm hardhead. Absolutely. As you said it, as long as you know. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Yes, this is my life right now. I still very much, I have to take like 17 pills right now. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> I have this sulfur uh, face wash he has me on that stinks. Sulfur face washes stink. Ooh, sulfur in general, doesn't it stink? Yes, like it has such a distinct smell. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like it. I'm on this steroid cream to make this calm down and then he has me on an actual pill then i'm on a pill for the acid reflux like it's so good y'all know i don't like taking pills no. it's just very ghetto right now then i took it okay last thing i would say this is even my long story short we got some else we'll talk about this last thing i would say i took the the pills together or i mean uh the, the over the weekend and i didn't eat girl i threw up twice in 10 minutes <laughs> twice in 10 minutes this is my life hello what i am saying is don't be me be better than me don't be like melissa take better care of your health okay your mind your body and that's why we are so excited to have better help as a sponsor of this podcast better help is great yes. we're all advocates absolutely i um it's the end of the year. And actually, Greg and I have been going back and forth because we've had a lot of transition in our lives. Amen. Uh, I have um, lost a, a, a job. We are transitioning into a new chapter of our lives. And so we have started a uh, couple's therapy with a woman. She's like based in Texas or something. And her name. Can I give her name? You want folks to have your. Uh... Well, it's just funny that her, her name is Margarita. Oh, that is. <laughs> and I just thought that that was really, we like randomly realized it the other day. Anyway, we love Margarita. We've been seeing her for a couple of weeks Tammy now. Tammy has a cousin named Margarita. Uh, and it's been a great time, but I love BetterHelp because it's all virtual and the options for times are so convenient for our life. We have little ones. Um, so being able to just log on and have an evening session or an earlier morning session um, has been absolutely amazing. And with the end of the year coming, this time of year can be a lot and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it but adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings and therapy can be a bright spot amid all of the stress and change something to look forward to to make you feel grounded and to give you the tools to manage everything going on again like I just said uh, Greg and I have been doing it I've actually done therapy before as well. Um, And just obviously we are all here and advocates for therapy and encourage everyone uh, to to give it a try. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist like Ms. Margarita and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash G. GJ, GJ today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash GJ. GJ. All right. Um, I was going to do the reunion tour. I'll say it briefly so that oh, way you yeah. can go into your real thing. Uh, if you have not gone to the reunion tour and you still have an opportunity to go, go. Go. The church, the little church child inside oh, of you man. will be so it was, happy. It was so good. We've never seen the Clark sisters live. Never. And 
listen, these ladies are 70 something years old. Whew. I think the youngest is like 68. They they Amazing. got it still, okay? Period point blank. They got it still. Miss Tweaky Clark on that piano. Come on. Was back singing. Come on. That woman was sitting down singing and playing them keys. Doing it. It was phenomenal. Incredible. Uh Dorinda came out with the heels. Oh yeah. She was uh singing yes. heaven down, having oh. that blonde wig, oh, doing my. what needed to be done, and it stayed intact. Oh. Okay. It was Tamala so- Man. Let me tell you something about Tamla Mann. I just want to let this be known. Tamla Mann's going to wear a body con. Oh, you hear me? Oh, she's going to be fine. If she don't do nothing else. She's going to be fine. Tamla Mann, Erica Campbell, they're going to have a, they gonna wear a body con. You're going to see all of that gospel it, Jesus uh, body, okay? Okay. This, Every single curve. That, that God himself anointed and appointed. Looking okay? good. And Tam got body. You hear me? Body, body, body. Okay. She was up there looking fine. Yeah, she was. Uh, Kirk Franklin is a damn good time. Can I say damn good yeah, time when I'm talking about Absolutely, because Kirk they was drinking and cussing because and smoking. He is a damn good time. That man be on that stage, body rolling. He body got all the energy. rolling like he is at somebody's carnival. Yes. Okay? He is out there. Uh, just a good time. Ty Tribbett looks like he is in Tybo. Yeah. Okay? That man be jumping up and down. Doing everything. I'm like, Even with sir. the mask in his face. Oh. Um, whatever happened, child. He, he got the a, stitches. So, yeah. The stitches he... Can't even tell. Can't even tell. Because he was up there. It was a good time. Israel Houghton, I've never seen him live. Well, we haven't. And I am a friend of God, okay? Amen. He was great. He was great, too. I enjoyed and every David minute. was there. David, David Mann. Yep. He came out and sang some old school. Yes. You know, Kirk Franklin, so which good. was great. And um, something else I was going to say. Oh, he had like, uh, what was Kirk Franklin's original? The Family? Yep. Uh choir in the background yes. singing it was great it was good and then like towards the end let me tell y'all towards the end of the show oh god uh t- somebody on stage it was like a background singer she first saw kev and then she went and got tamala man mm-hmm. and she came over there and was like kev and then got david man and he came over there and there and i was over there like are these these people are on the stage yes and like Pointed out Kev and waving to him. What world are we in? We used to praise dance. Literally. Me and to Mel. these people. Oh my God, I, that was on my mind for us to do. We needed to do um, a praise dance. Oh my gosh. Uh, what, what, wait, because we were doing it in the Hosanna. thing. Hosanna. Uh, what is it, Mel? Oh, Hosanna. Forever. forever. Hosanna. Forever. forever. Wait, start from the beginning. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come first, on, come on. And then oh, you do this at some yes. point. I, we, we and Mel were doing it. Here's the problem with uh, the praise dance in that. We, so there's like mimes, or right? They're mimes. People who like really yes. are created, like choreographed and like yes. thought is put into it. Our praise dancing was like. I'm about to do it. Hold if on. you're praying, you do this. Yes, no, legit. So we're just. Oh, the angels bow down at the thought of that's what it was. Come on. There it is. We would clap. I'm trying to skip through. Okay. Oh, it's thought of you. Thought of you is to your brain. Do it. Light, light, you just do some kind of wave. Gives us brand, you just Hosanna. And then we did like, or clap. We don't know. It was terrible. Obviously, we're bad at this. It was so bad. We were praise dancing to this like we were back being like preteens Absolutely. in church. We were definitely on. We can't sing clearly. So we were definitely, and I can't dance either, but we were on oh the my. dance team, the mime team, whatever you want to call it. The team that everybody had, and all of us were not dancers. We just were acting out literally the, ter- the words of a song. If they say pray, you put your hands you together. Pray. If yeah. they say bow down, you literally just bow down. There's okay. no like interpretation necessary. No, 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 no creativity. No. This was literal. It was great. Pray. It was the, the best. The price that you pay, because Jesus died on the cross, go like this. And when the music goes, do you put your head down. The price that you pay. Do. <laughs> yes. Okay, the other thing that happened is my baby turned two years old on Friday. Yay, pumpkin pie. Micaiah is two. Um, and... A time, as we all know here. That little one is a time, okay? But we had a um, great birthday party that I was really, really excited about because if you're new here, 
I really, really enjoy celebrating my children's birthdays and coming up with creative themes. Like that is my jam. Okay, I don't, I don't have to do nothing else. But we gonna celebrate that the day that I brought birthed you into the world, <laughs> and that, be, and actually, I have always been a birthday person. For my birthday, I've always celebrated. I don't mm -hmm. care what. I'm not working. I'm going to get the things, and I want my children to do the same. I feel like they, it's, it's birthdays are a big thing. Uh, so anyway, we had. Um, her theme, she was, she turned two, so it was, um, get out the way, soldier boy voice, get out the way, Micaiah's coming to, <laughs> like coming through, soldier boy. Um, uh, anyway, it was, it was a really good time. We had the cars and like all this stuff. So anyway, we had a, a great time, but it reminded me as birthdays do, you start thinking about when you first came and mm -hmm. I birthed you and how quick the time has passed and I can't believe this. And a couple things. Number one is, uh. After I had Kai, I had postpartum preeclampsia. Yes, she which did. Which I don't think we have told that story on this podcast, which what happened is... Oh, God. Actually, before I even get into this, we haven't told this story either. Greg and I worked really hard to make Micaiah Yes, be, you be. should. Okay, we worked really hard. And not in the, in the terms of just, like, having a bunch of sex. We worked really hard because we were not getting pregnant. And we had had a miscarriage uh, mm -hmm. our, before McKinley was born. We had a miscarriage. Then we had McKinley. And then we, like, took a break because kids. Uh, it, it became, in, we don't want no more of them. Uh, but then after a while, we were ready to have another kid. And we were not getting pregnant for, like, I don't even, I guess it was like a year we had been trying. And like at first, you know, you're trying and you're or like, okay, we'll try. But then when you don't get pregnant, you're like, wait, what's happening? Uh, you know, it's been a while. Nothing's yeah. happening here. So then you become more like intentional and it still wasn't happening. So then it was like, um, all right, well, we should like get checked out or something like I'm in my 30s now. So then I went to we both went to the doctor. They do all the la and at that time I was still at Netflix and they had really good insurance. They sure so did. they gave you a card <coughs> that had <coughs> something like eighty thousand dollars on it. Like yeah. And you basically go to the doctor, no questions asked. You just do whatever you have to do or you want to do. So it could go for adoption, it could go for IVF, it could go no, for No, technically McKinley is the rainbow baby. Oh yeah, McKinley is the rainbow baby cuz I had her after the miscarriage mm -hmm. the first time. Um anyway, all of that to say, we did a lot of work to like bring her here and for her to act the way she does is so <laughs> ungrateful. It's so ungrateful. I was wondering where you were going with I this. I deserve an apology because girl, the nerve of you to behave the way you do. <laughs> and I worked to get you here. Anyway, all of that. And then after I had her, got postpartum preclapsia. You yeah. sure did. So I have her and I had a cesarean. And so um, there was like some liquid coming from my body. Mm -hmm. And so I had a regular like, no, no, no. I had called the doctor to be like, there's some liquid. Like, can you just check on me? It was probably two days after we had gotten home from uh, the hospital. We go in there. They take your my blood pressure. And the nurse is like, girl, your blood pressure is really high. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, let me let me take it again. She takes it again, and she's like, it's even higher than it was a second ago. And so she's like, um, you're going to go ahead with the appointment, but afterward I have, I'm going to take it again. Do the appointment. She takes it again, even higher. So then they literally put me in a room, turned off the lights, tried to, like, relax me. And she's like, in 15 minutes, we're going to do it again. And That's I'm so like. so funny. I didn't know they did that. That's the same thing they did to me with Isaiah. Really? Yeah. They kept taking it. Yeah. No, they put me in a room, turned, oh, down, the turned light. on the lights. I couldn't have visitors or anything. No, yes. So she, well, Greg is downstairs because this was supposed to be quick. Yeah. And so she's, the doctor's like, girl, what's happening? I'm like, I don't know. Y'all keep telling me. I'm, I feel fine. The baby's downstairs. Like, what is happening? And so they, she was like, well. Uh, we're going to take it again. We have to wait the 15 minutes. Take it again. And then she's like, you can't go home. And I'm like, okay, listen. <laughs> I came here for you to stitch up this little liquid and to be on about my day. Uh, I have another child. Like, I'm not, I, I need to go home. And she was like, well, you're, you're not going to go home. You're going to go across the street back to the <laughs> hospital. And so, and I was like, I don't have anything. And she's literally, it's a black, my OB was a black woman. She said, You'll figure it out. <laughs> and then she walked out of the room. I remember you said that. And I too. was like, I guess I will. <laughs> she was like, they'll be waiting for you. I went downstairs like, Greg, 
She said, we can't go home. I had to go. So I had to go immediately next door. And they took my um, oh, blood honey, pressure. You'll, you'll figure Literally, she was like, you'll figure it out. <laughs> and then I ended up having to stay there. Uh, I stayed and then uh, was freaked out and, you know, whatever. Eventually, they brought it down, gave me some medication. Mm -hmm. uh, Liz was freaked out. Greg was freaked out. Kev was everybody. Yeah, we Mary Marshall. Out. Everybody, everybody was, freaked out. was freaked out. Okay. And then eventually I go home. Mm -hmm. You want to tell this part of the so story? So eventually she goes home. Was it two days later? I don't a even day. think it was a full day. It yeah. wasn't even a full. It wasn't even a full day. Um, did the guys go out of town? Why were we all together? Because the tour was still going on. But Greg and Marcus, we all decided because uh, Angel and Kev were on tour. Okay. And so we were all in town. And so to like, everything had just happened, finally got home. And so we were like, let's just go to your house mm -hmm. and watch and, and relax. Yes. So we were watching... I don't remember the Cat sequence Williams. of his events, but eventually we turned on Cat Williams. You guys know Cat Williams, The Pimp Chronicles, is my favorite comedy special of all time. Like, I, it's just my favorite thing. So we're watching it, having a good time. Mel is supposed to take, they have her on blood pressure medicine. Yes. She's supposed to take her blood pressure every so often. Yes. She takes it and it's high. Yes. Well, Melissa purchased. I did. Two I did. home blood pressure I machines. I sure did. One for her house, one for mine. That's right, because Mel was coming to the house because they were on tour. Yes. So in case she came over, she forgot it. I wanted, I needed to have one at my house. Yes. So we take it. She, wait, what always surprises me about Mel? I can't say in the comments. And I'm <laughs> sorry, my brain is not connecting. So we take it. It's high. We're watching um, uh, Cat, Cat Williams, Williams, and we're like, let's take it again to see if it's low. Okay. We take it again. It's high again. So I'm telling Mel and Greg with their hardhead selves, y'all need to go to the doctor. And they decide they don't want to because no. she had just spent. I had just got, been there. Been in the hospital having Micaiah. Came home for this long. Went, went back, back to the hospital. And now, again, and this now, long needs to go back. So they leave and go to the house. Yes. And call me and say, no, no. we're just going to stay. Yeah. We were like, we could just we could just stay here. It's fine. And Melissa was like, I called the doctor myself. I'm calling the doctor myself. I called the doctor myself. I was like, we're going to My go. sister and her husband are on the way. This is her blood pressure. She was just there. Do whatever you need to do to prepare for her arrival. <laughs> Melanie and Greg, they're waiting for you. I was like, you, you need to get doctor. in the car yes. and go. I do right not want to go. Y'all know how the, doc, the hospital and staying there. It's so annoying. You just want to be in your own bed. I just had a baby. My st everything hurt still. I was not. I did not want to go. And Melissa's like, I just called the doctor. They're waiting for you. <laughs> sure <was> like, <laughs> so then we go to the doctor, and on the way there, now we're freaking out because every time we take it, it continues it's, to it go was going up. up. And yes. I, to be you're clear, you're trying to like trick yourself that you're no, calm, and it's going up. To be clear, Mel's blood pressure was oh. like. Did it reach 200? Oh, yeah. It was like 207 over... Like yes. one... Like almost also to 200. Yes. yes. It's like the... So you have the like, oh, this is a good sec, uh, good number. This is like, oh, something's happening. This is like, oh, this is a problem. And then it's like, girl. You finna have a stroke. You finna die. And it was she like She was at there. like, you finna have a stroke. Yeah. So, and what was so funny is by the time... Not funny. But by the time we get to the hospital... Uh, they are moving so slow. So our doctor has already called the people mm. at the ER like, hey, she's coming in, and they're moving so slow. So Greg's getting irritated at this point. And so eventually they're like, okay, girl, you can, like, come in the room. So they walk me to the room, oh, still know. moving so slow. All of a sudden that woman does the arm thing and takes my blood pressure. And everybody picks up. When I tell you her face was like, I'm going to get the doctor. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Yeah, it got, you know, like when the temperature in the room starts raising, you could tell. So then the doctor comes running in and she's like, we need to get this down immediately. And then they give me medication like the immediate yes. pill to make it plummet. Yes. So they give me that to like make it plummet and it doesn't. It doesn't plummet. And the doctor's like, I don't know why it's not going down. And I'm like, I can't hear you. <laughs> why are you? Well, the no girl, well, now what? So then they're they're trying to do the IV and Greg's like you didn't prick her there already. Uh, Greg was You're hurting her and I don't understand. And I was like everything is just so much. <laughs> Let me tell you happening. something. 
Greg, it don't take much to piss Greg off, but his fuse gets even shorter oh when it has to do with them girls. Girl, or male. Girl. Greg, be ready to. I know you're trying to save her life, but you're saving her life in a way that might kill her. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the, it was a, a black, I think it was a nurse. It, she was either Latin or a black woman. And she was like, now, sir, <laughs> I understand that you are stressed. That Greg was stressed. This is the only way I can help her. I have Greg to be able to help her. Stressed. And Greg was like, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the man retreated. So, <laughs> you, you right. I'm going I'm to chill out. <laughs> like we couldn't do anything. anything. You just you can't do anything. You, you just gotta you let these people do what they do. So obviously, eventually they uh they brought it down. But in order to leave, it has to be down for like 24 hours, and then they release you. And that night, it went back up. And so the next morning, the doctor was like, "I know you want to go home, <laughs> but your your look here's the paper. Your it went back up last night. I can't let you go home." And I cried, I cried so in that dear. bed, I cried. And so Melissa was like, "Greg, you should go. You should get a break. <laughs> I'm gonna come up there." So then Liz came up there with Kai, the th- girl. I had a list of questions because I didn't know what was going <laughs> oh on. Oh my god! So I googled every. Like I said, I went to that the doctor. doctor comes said, in there and Melissa's like, "I Great. have questions. I have questions. Can you tell Let me? Let me pull them up, please. Hold on, just a second. Ah, right here. <laughs> all right. So, from my understanding, <laughs> <laughs> literally, she's asking all the questions. It was Listen, Google. It was, uh, you you don't know what's going on. Google will tell you what to ask. Absolutely. Okay. Hi, my sister yes. has. What questions should the doctor be aware of that I should yes. ask? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask her that. Oh. I was asking all the questions. It was. It was a lot. But we're here now. And hey, man, Makaya is here, alive and well, causing havoc, causing all the havoc, but doing it in the cutest way. Absolutely. We want to stop talking about my niece and start talking about food. Food is so important. Okay, we're getting older. We are forty. Who's forty? Not me. Not me. <laughs> Let me tell you something about your diet. If you don't listen, you guys listen to me. What you ingest could come out in your skin. Talk about it. So you have to be very mindful hey, man. about putting things that you are very aware of and eating out all the time. It's not good. It's not. And this is the other thing that's not good. Have you ever ordered out and they gave you a 30 minute turnaround time? And then they canceled the order in 10 minutes yes, or girl. 15 minutes yes. or in 25 minutes and you expect your order in 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Or they tell you 30 minutes and take 45 minutes. Yes. You know what? In that time, you could have cooked your HelloFresh meal. You sure could have. Because most of their meals don't take longer than 30 minutes. Mel, what's our favorite meal? My favorite. I love the burger options. Me too. They have burgers and usually come. they have like wedges you can make with it too. The kids love it. Greg loves it. I love it. Their burger, op- and they have so many different choices for the burger options. Listen, and they can be not spicy if you have, like, acid reflux. Those are options. So, listen, all in. Very good. Whether you have food restrictions, uh, they have all type of meals for you, family-friendly or whatever have you. You just simply pick out your meal plan, or they can pick it out for you. Your uh, meal choices for the week. Uh, get all everything delivered freight, straight to your door. No trips to the grocery store necessary. Take the thinking out of dinner, because we all do too much thinking. Anyway, go to HelloFresh.com slash juice free, and use code juice free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash juice free with code Code juice free. Juice free. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. It is. All right. Anything else? I really quickly want to say that preeclampsia is so serious. It is. And as black women, especially, you really should be um uh, like aware, of, not to freak you out, but like I do feel like knowledge is empowering when you're going through those things. Yeah. And it's so yeah. skippable. When I had Isaiah, I also had preeclampsia. Mm-hmm. Um, so the the story that I tell is um, the day that I had, like the day I went to the hospital, actually I had him the next morning, but the day I went into the hospital with Isaiah, uh, at lunch, I was like bent over. I was feeling all weird all day. Went home and we were watching uh, Steve Harvey's Don't Trip. God's Not Done With Me Yet. Whatever that special uh-huh. he was doing at the time, but it was on TV. And I, not knowing anything because it was my first pregnancy, I thought I was in labor. And so I went to the hospital and they were like, girl, these are Braxton Hicks, but your organs are shutting down. Mm. Like, you need to relax. And so they put me in a room, turned down all mm-hmm. of the lights. 
gave me all of this medication and I went in for an emergency. They had a um they had to level my body before I can actually go into the surgery Labor. of a C-section uh -huh. because everything was starting to shut down. So like it was crazy. so bad. Yeah. Um, I actually always say that's why Isaiah's name means um, saved by God. And I actually believe like he literally saved both of our mm -hmm. lives because mm -hmm. they were like, if you literally, the doctor said, if you did not come in tonight, you would have died. That's so crazy. That is wild. That is. So yeah, definitely. And I had never heard of preeclampsia. Me either. I didn't hear about it until y'all. And Nick, Nick had, had it, it too. Well. And then I had, so I had postpartum preeclampsia. And the thing about mm -hmm. the, the cure for preeclampsia is to have, have a baby. The baby. That is what cures it. When you have postpartum preeclampsia, there is no cure because the baby is already born. Right. And so they have to basically just manage your, try to get your blood pressure to come back down and, and so you can live your life. Yeah. Uh, but I actually was reading I, like a couple days ago that like this year is the first time in years in which, I may be misstating this. See, now I, I want to check it. Anyway, it was a statistic about black women giving birth and that the um, the death rate of women giving birth, black women giving birth has like increased, you know, usually, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what is, what am I trying to say? You, bl the amount of black women who give, who give die birth. during ah. childbirth is already higher than any other demo. Okay. But this year, from what I remember, is the first year that the number has Overall. actually increased for black women, though. Like, usually oh, we're just always above. Got it, got it, got it, But got it. this year, it's mortality. Actually, mortality rate. Jesus. Uh, but this year, it's actually gone up. Like, how many of us have died? It's even more. It's even more. And oh, I that's was super like, scary. well, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's super scary. So anyway, scary. I w we were like joking and telling, you know, my version, but like, this is very serious. Yeah, it's very and serious. And very scary. Yeah, it is. And you should absolutely, you know, be contacting your doctor and talking to your doctor. If doctors, you have like water have retention, any, yeah. headaches, blurriness. I, I was, remember having headaches and uh, blurriness, blurriness, but I didn't. I didn't know. And I re I was swollen and I was like, it's fine. And I remember I was on FaceTime with mom and she was like, Mel, you're really swollen. And I was like, I had a baby. I, I think that's why. And she was like, you just look really swollen. And I'm like, okay, girl. And then when I went to the doctor, they were like, this, you, how swollen you are is a sign. And I was like, oh, Mary, she had three kids. Mama she, has said it. She probably knew what she was yeah. talking about. Any, these are things you really should be aware of. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 100%. for sure. Anyway. All right, moving on to... It was a long, long it story was short. a long, long story <laughs> short. But Pop the Trunk's going to be short. Um, your Pop the Trunk is missing. Yeah, I took it off. Okay, great. So we'll just do this. What we want to do is hear from you guys, right? So send your Pop the Trunks to us, but we don't want them by email because it gets a little long. We tried that and that didn't work out the best. Yeah. I couldn't recap good. Yes. So what we want is to actually hear your voice. If you've heard this on podcast, it's like really cool. And I'm hoping you guys will do it, okay? I'm going to include gonna it in the voice notes. Um, I'll send it to you, Courtney, so we can include it in the description. Okay. Go to Speak Pipe dot com slash g j i'm gonna say it one more time because neither one of us actually have a, a pop the trunk this week okay that speak s is in sam p is in paul e is in echo a is in alpha k is in kite p is in paul i is in india p is in paul e is in echo dot com slash g j you did all them p is for pipe P is for I, I is for India, P is for... Oh, I could do it. You want me to do it phonetically? At, I thought S's? you just did. No, I didn't. S is Don't for Sierra. Don't do it again. It's so long. Um. And Sierra could be spelled with a C. Sierra. Yeah, except C is Charlie. This beat is automatic. She spells Sonic. it wrong. Funky, fresh. Um, That's the only okay. Sierra we know. Yes, H is in hot dog. Come on and know no, it, aren't we? Easy. No, we love it. No. Uh, Speakpipe.com right. slash GJ. Please, please, please send them to us. Maybe we'll do a, um, a people's episode and we'll just play them and we can react to them okay. actually that's a good react it is yeah okay moving on to black twitter trends Let's you want to keep the um evergreen for later and go straight into the the topical one oh you see what i'm saying yeah that's fine okay great uh really quick we want to talk about spin the block relationships spin it spin it because have y'all seen on the internet that Jennifer, Jennifer, yes, Jennifer Hudson mm -hmm. and Common 
are back together. Ashanti and Nelly are back together. And it is rumored, I don't believe it's true, but it's rumored that seen together. Janet, they were seen together. Janet and Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree mm-hmm. are back together. Mm-hmm. What are your, th- well, listen, uh, what's her name? Danny said it last week. You don't go back if it, if what you left for was yes, still there. It's still there. Mm-hmm. What's your thoughts on spin the black relationships? Um, um, so listen, if that's, if you like it, I love it. That's your business. Ashanti and Nelly seem really happy. Don't they? Her laugh has always been infectious. I feel like she's anytime beautiful. she's always like laughed or smiled, you just want to laugh with her. Yeah. Uh, I just, I want Nelly to know we ain't forgot about them charges that hit the internet all alleged. Oh, but no. I don't want you to forget that. I, I want you to know we ain't forgot. Was there a trial that came <laughs> of that? No, I think there was a few settlements. Oh. I think allegedly, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do. I'm not lawyer. I didn't know. I didn't know any of this about court Nelly. Nice, but maybe I will. But anyway, um, but you know, if that's who you want to be with, all alleged, and if you, that's your business, okay? They look happy. They're they showing happy. all 32 teeth, and you should do that. You should be happy. Now, J Hud and uh, Common, Common, gonna keep him a girl. Sure enough. Okay. That man has dated everybody from Serena Williams to Tiffany Haddish. Wait, let's go through it. Okay. This is, this is, this is Commons Serena alleged. Williams to Tiffany Haddish. Literally. I just said that. No, for real. That's literally the title of this article. Okay. This is Commons alleged <laughs> dating history from Serena Williams to Tiffany Haddish. We have, let me start at the top. Kim Jones. I don't, I don't even know, know who that is. is. Okay. I don't know who that is share recently the people but it's like kind of was in relationship until 1998 and a couple oh it's the mother of his daughter oh okay okay so all right erica badu yeah mm-hmm. taraji p henson i didn't know that they were linked together or anything okay this is serena williams uh-huh for like three years a long time yes uh that's the politician right girl. Yep. angela right yep. they would yep tiffany haddish yep Jennifer Hudson, uh, he didn't date somebody else after yes, Jennifer Hudson. He did. He just was linked to somebody oh. else. Is that out of order though? Uh, I think it should be Jennifer Hudson. No, it was somebody between. It was Jennifer Hudson and then somebody between Jennifer r- right now. But they don't have Jennifer Hudson the first time on here. Oh, got it. Oh, but they that's have Tiffany just Haddish. Like the last one. Yeah, because uh, Jennifer Hudson. Didn't Jennifer, the first Jennifer Hudson lead into Tiffany Haddish? Because didn't Tiffany Haddish have smoke for Jennifer Hudson? Oh, maybe. I or don't was know. it the other way around? Not him causing problems remember. between the ladies. Listen, all I'm saying is, Kama going to keep somebody on he his arm, man. Keep he? somebody on his and arm. And these are long, like two, three year relationships. Yes. He seems to be the problem, no? We need to talk about how we don't have smoke for, exactly, how we don't have smoke for Common, but we have smoke for Lori, and she be in long-term relationships. The same, then, because he be in long-term relationships as well. Also, what's the problem with dating? You should date. Because how old is Lori? In her 20, 25? 25, maybe, 6, maybe. How old is Lori? The real problem is how old is, is Common. Hello? She's 26. How old is Common? Should Common is fifty one? Common is fifty one. Should we have more smoke for Common being a serial dater than we do for Lori at twenty five? No, y'all should date everybody you want to date. Oh, I regardless think date, of the age. Yes, date who you want to date. Love who you want to love. Do what you want to do. Do it. Just and then go to better help. <laughs> because okay but this is the question At- wait before you ask the question let me also say what you should do while you're dating you should be taking care of yourself and your <laughs> partner and that is why we love care of i have care of um they are uh, take uh that's why we love care of because they are a sponsor of this podcast i have care of and i love care of um I submitted when I did the online thing, I said I wanted help with sleep. And the first time I used it, right, I forgot. And I woke up like, oh, my gosh, I had such a good sleep. I haven't been able to sleep. I don't know why. And then it dawned on me, care of is helping me care take care of myself. They're helping me go to sleep at night. So now it's my favorite thing. I always get really like 
questionable about taking things. Uh, not as bad as Melissa, but I do get um, nervous about it. But when it comes from care of, I feel really confident in like what I have been given that I can trust it and take it. And uh, I see the results. I have energy. It's all, it's really all my, fa my favorite thing. Um, so as we approach the end of the year, what results um, have I been seeing? I, again, I've been seeing more sleep and I have been having more energy in the day. Um, amen. I got caught up here. Hold on. More. In, that's what these you are take? questions. That's why. Oh. Uh, oh. So the the doing the survey is really easy. You tell it. Like I said, I I told it I wanted to have more sleep and more energy and even some um like gut health stuff. Uh, but you take the very easy quiz, input all your information, and then they send you uh, a nice packet um or like a, it's like a little thing where the, each slot comes out each um little packet, packet. comes out mm -hmm. they're like pre-packaged uh easy for you to travel with have put throw in your purse throw in whatever you are taking for the day uh it's it's absolutely my favorite thing so for 50 percent off of your first care of order go to takecareof.com and enter code gj50 gj50 that is takecareof.com and enter code GJ50, GJ50 for 50% off of your first Take Care Of order. Thank you for supporting Take Care Of or blah, blah. Thank you for supporting Care Of and this podcast. Okay, let's go through Lori's dating history. Okay. Okay. Uh, Damson, which we know they just broke up. She said yeah. 365 days. That's enough. Amen. That's well, enough. because I be thinking that's PR. That, but see, I that think she has deals. I do. With the men, meaning the men approach her. Absolutely. What does it? What do the men get out of it? A pretty girl on their arm and relevance. She is gonna keep you I in the headlines because Damson ain't on the show. I think that they get into rooms that they otherwise wouldn't be getting into. I'm not gonna lie to you because of Lori. Because okay, of so Lori. do you think Damson is a PR stunt? Absolutely. Michael B. Jordan. I do. <gasps> I want them to be have real. I. Think I that... want them to be have been real. Sorry. That how long did they date? Like three years. Uh, was it that long? Child, 18 months. Yeah, that's about right. I think that, listen, let me tell you why I think um, about uh, Mr. B. Jordan specifically. There have been a lot of rumors about that man. And I listened I to a podcast think, about it. Um, to counter some of those rumors, I think that that was a, a setup, a situation that was, was put together. Child, hook, line, and sinker, you got me. Okay, I love them. I, I just, I had did. I had did. They were odd to me at first, and by the end, I was like Team MJB, and the J stands for Lori. Okay, I was here for it. The only man I think she's dated that was the only two men that I think she's dated that were not PR stunts is Future. Okay, Future's on here, and um, I think she also her very first boyfriend, yes, Memphis, Memphis Depay. Depay. That was before she really got like known, known. Uh, she was actually engaged. He proposed to her. Uh, she was like 20 or 21. At 20. Uh-huh. He proposed to her. Uh, I remember I followed her for a long time because her sister went to Spelman with me. Um, and so I had been on to her for years, even before before she started being Lori Harvey. She went to school in Florida. She graduated high school and was going to school in Florida. But that was a faux her. And then she oh. started being seen. She dropped out. And started being seen. You remember the first time she really hit was when her and Marjorie, they were at like Paris Fashion Week and those pictures first mm. blew up. It was like right after she got to school and was then on the streets and everybody was like, well, Ooh, she's that is girl. beautiful. Who is this girl? Ooh, and she is girl. beautiful. She's so cute. But uh, Memphis Depay, he he messed up at that point because look, now, now she on. Now she popping. Okay. Uh, but anyway, those are the two. But keep going. That so I think then are not fake. you think Justin and Diddy both were PR stunts? I don't that's think she stupid. actually dated Justin. She was really dating Diddy. That's a lie. She never dated Justin Combs. That's a lie. That's what I thought was weird, too. No, that's stupid. I okay. I actually, I, I could agree with this. Trey Songs. Actually, I think that was real. But I, I think that was real. I think that he's a creep. So if her, so if she, I don't know nothing about the original boyfriend, but if she actually dated Trey Songs and she actually dated Diddy and Future, okay, she likes toxicity because Michael B. Jordan seemed like a squirt. Damson seemed like a squirt. I believe that. So you mean to oh, so the ones she had chosen, the, Absolutely. the ones her picker had picked. Yes, I don't think she really liked Diddy though. Anyway, I think that was just a little like, this is cool. She could like him because. 
He's well, Diddy. actually, yeah, because I was going to say, because in her teenage years, he was all of that, but she was also an infant at that time because exactly. I'm 20 years older than her. I, I, I don't think that she, I think that that was all like, okay, I'll try this out, but obviously this isn't for me, but sure, why not? I think she really, if Future wasn't Future, they would have been together, but Future is the problem. Future is her. Future is who we think Lori is. He actually is. Fair. I don't think Lori is toxic. I think I she's either. a young, beautiful I girl yes, dating. Absolutely. And she should. She should. The problem is people be staying in these toxic ass, bad relationships for a long time because you don't want to be labeled Lori Harvey. Meanwhile, you're better. Your your next chapter is walking past you, but you over here stuck with Memphis to pay, which may not be bad because Memphis to pay is not that should be. He still has a soccer player. Absolutely, I'm not saying. But look how many other people she didn't got with since then. I don't be stuck in your old toxic ass relationship. Leave that. Don't be scared to be called a hoe. Uh uh-uh. uh. This is 2023. Wait. Hold your way through. Don't be scared to be called a hoe. <laughs> we we are mislabeling her though. We are. She's we not are a mislabeling hoe. her. She's, She's not, not a hoe. hoe. You can She's date. Not a hoe. You can date and you should date. Yeah. I agree with that. Date, girl. No, 100%. We're mislabeling her. I don't even really think Common is a hoe. But no. I think we should have the same smoke for Common that we have for Lori or neither one of them should have smoke. I don't think we should have smoke for nobody. No, but I'm saying if we're going to have the smoke, okay, then it needs to be equal smoke. Okay. If we agree we don't have the smoke, then it needs to be equal unsmoke. I agree. And that's not what's happening. Yes. Because they're both in just long-term committed relationships. Absolutely. And, well, long-ish. Long-ish. I really thought Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey were together for like three years. I'm not even going to lie to you. It mm-hmm. seemed like they were together the whole COVID. Because I think he paid the premium. <laughs> <coughs> what's included in Lori Harvey's dating <laughs> package? Number one, vacation. Absolutely. Because one thing Lori and Michael B. did was be on a boat. You know what? And Damson don't got the money because they didn't go on as many vacations. They no. didn't take as many pictures. Mm-mm. Lori they and Michael B. Beverly Hills. Them, they... Lori and Michael B. was on PJs. No, legit. I mean, it seemed like what are y'all taking a vacation from because y'all don't work. Yes. Because y'all on vacation Girl. every other day. Listen, I'm not mad. Let me just be clear because I don't want y'all to, to mischaracterize what I'm saying. I don't think Lori is a hoe. I'm saying no. because people, society, like to call her a hoe, I'm saying you should also hold it. If that's how we are deciding what a hoe is, I don't agree. But also, okay, so then call you, me a hoe. I don't care. You should date. My point is you should date. I, should I think that, that there is so much value in dating. And so if that means you are a hoe, then hoe your way through. That's my point. Amen. I actually think I agree. I think we force people to get married really young and know what they want. And the re- I was having my conversation with a child the other day that, well, a few weeks ago now, that um, you change and evolve so much that with every dating experience, you actually learn a little bit about yourself, yourself. that yes. you can take into new relationships. Absolutely. And so- I actually don't think you have to go into every relationship when you were young with marriage as the intent 100 percent. i think it can grow and evolve into that absolutely but i don't think you have to be 21 years old talking about i'm only dating to marry for why you're 21 you don't even know you will you don't even know you so yeah and maybe common at 51 don't know himself either that way okay but see that's what i'm saying we, <laughs> that's why he's still see, but that's what i'm saying at, at 51 common we should send common our uh better help ad promo because <laughs> you need to go talk to because him. at 51 he probably should know himself a little bit <laughs> i'm not saying you have to have it all figured out okay that's not what i'm saying but what's happening common you <laughs> tell me what's happening he minding his business do your thing he ain't minding his business he wasting folks time well serena williams taraji p henson <laughs> and they serena moved on and she <coughs> look what you did sorry it's contagious it is Anyway. She got married and got two kids. Yeah, she moved on. She happy. We love it for her. All right, Carmen, come on the show. Tell us about it. We just watched your movie with uh with Queen Latifah and, and Paula Patton over the weekend. She Paula Patton thick. She really wasn't that thick, though. Why was that the lyric? Oh, my gosh. Because she was married to Robin Thick. It's a play on words. Ah, <laughs> oh, ma'am. She was married to Robin Thick. Just move on.
You didn't make me sad. <laughs> she really wasn't that big, though. <laughs> Man, these rappers, they're clever. <laughs> so clever. Just, just out <laughs> here. you to put just that together. A1 <laughs> clever, okay? Just clever. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, moving on to Mel Takes TV. We've been watching TV, y'all. My whole son, this is my problem. I'm finna pop the trunk on Sunday oh, night TV. Okay, and then I'm gonna say something. Go ahead. Why all the shows start at the same time? They do. That is annoying. I got 3,000 shows to watch yes, by Monday. I know. And then one additional show to watch on Tuesday. Yes. I don't have it in me. Oh my okay? gosh, yes. They all start at the same time. I'm sick of it. Wait, there is a, um, uh, hold on. Uh, there is a, I tweeted this because <laughs> y'all knew that thick thing while she looking this up. Y'all didn't know. <laughs> y'all knew the whole time that Robin Thick was Paula Patton Thick. Yes. Because okay. the thick, because the, because the last name is Thick. Yes. There is this thing which is called revenge. It's like revenge watching, revenge TV watching. Okay. And basically, I, I can't find it, but basically it is this um, idea or concept maybe that people who, oh, I wanted to find it. Basically, it's when as a, it, okay, I'll say me. I don't get to do the things I enjoy in the daytime because I have kids and I'm a dog and I have things to do. And so I will deprive myself of sleep simply to make time for myself to enjoy something that I like. And so at 10 or 11 or sometimes 12, I will force myself to stay up just so that I can do the thing that oh, I enjoy, that. which is that. watching TV. Anyway, so there's a whole thing. It's called like revenge TV watching or something. Um, yeah, I think I saw it on your Instagram. I mean, your Twitter. Is yes. it, it's not called revenge procrastination or something? Oh, maybe. I can't remember the name of it. Now I can't find it. But anyway, I absolutely do that. And I do it. Reclaiming my time is what it should be called. Yes, exactly uh, what it should but be I do it on, especially on Sundays now. I'm like, I know all these shows are coming out and I'm going to watch them because I deserve to watch TV and enjoy and drink wine because I don't get to do it otherwise. So anyway. That's all I wanted to say. We can go into revenge bedtime procrastination yes. station. Yeah, yes. I remember that. Yes. Uh, I definitely do that. The problem though is it becomes work. I'm not just like Absolutely. lounging and I can watch it throughout. Oh, you know yeah. the week. I end up like I have to watch this tonight. Yeah, and that's not good for me. Okay, where do you want to start? Uh, so let's start. Let's start with Married to Medicine, and then we can go into Selling Sunset. Okay, very good. Married to Medicine is my absolute favorite TV show on. What's, what show, what network is that? Bravo. Bravo. I, you, you know, they are better than Real Housewives, in my opinion. Uh, I love it. So what's happening, okay, if you haven't caught up, I'm going to tell you that what is... She, okay. <laughs> what's happening is what Quad's ex-husband... That's G? Dr. G. Okay. Quad has been on the show. They got a divorce seasons ago. Oh. And he was an ass. Okay. He was an asshole. Okay. And there was some other claims about him. But regardless, he has been off the show. Quad has remained on the show. I mean, not like a major part of it, but like she has been still on the show since. So the fact that they brought this man back. That's what I was trying to season, figure out. And for him to have a new fiance and that's how y'all bring him back and Quad is still kind of on the show still, I think it's trash. First of all, Bravo, y'all are trash mm -hmm. for that. Quad did say that. I didn't know if it was true, so I'm not going to repeat that. But Quad made a claim they had, about Dr. G. In the flashbacks of the, the episode that I watched, uh -huh. they had claims of like them hitting on each yes. other, choking each other. All that was there yeah. in a like a um, what's the white dude's name? Andy tell all situation. I don't know if it was uh, a reunion or what. See, I don't remember. <coughs> I just watched it last night because I said I didn't know they had been divorced. Yes. I thought it was like last season. No. So I said, well, why would she get with him when she just said last season that they, yeah, he, he was treating her like that? And because one of the girls said, I didn't know all that was happening in their marriage. You could even see the way that he treated her on that show. He was that was a bad marriage. They should have gotten. How divorced. long were they together? Oh, I don't remember. Mm. But that was a bad marriage. So the fact that they have brought him reunion. back on this show. With his new little fiance, who is very obviously a gold digger. I mean, that girl. I only watched the first episode. I thought it was the second episode. Um, so, what happened was she was having a like some type of party. You know, they always having a party. I don't know yes. what the party was about. And the girl said, 
what are you most excited about about being engaged or getting married or something like yeah. that and the girl said i get a little access to the money literally that's what she said and then and then uh, uh heavenly said has anybody ever called you a gold digger <laughs> I hate she said, not really. <laughs> not really, no. That's a yes or no. Yeah, and then that's what Toya was like. Well, that's a yes or no. If somebody called you a gold digger, then, then who yes. was it? Yeah. No. Well, no, nobody's called me that. Well, honey, they should be. Yeah. If that's the way you're answering that question, that means you are digging yeah, for, for sure. the gold. Uh, okay, but here's what I want to talk about. What are the rules, okay, if people are a part of your friend group and they break up? Okay. Can you still be friends with both sides? And if one of them gets a new partner, what what are the rules? What are the rules here? Uh, choose ye this day who you will serve. A double man, a double minded man, is unstable in all his ways. <laughs> in all his ways. So you got to pick a side, baby. You got to pick a side. None of this straddle the fence. You are either hot or cold. So if should you are they be lukewarm? I will spew you. Should they not be being Bible. nice That's to? Not me. Should they not be accepting of Dr. G or can they, because their husbands are friends with him still, should they be accepting of Dr. G, but the women shouldn't be connecting with homegirl? I don't even think it has to fall along like gender lines. Okay. It could be based on how who you've known longer, who you've had the long, you know, a better relationship with. Got it. But trying to come over here, to yeah, I'm both. so happy for you and your new boo. And now I'm going to come over here, girl, no. Because now I don't know if I could trust you. What if you going back telling my business to him? Uh-huh. I don't like that. So you can't even know nothing. No, you got to choose you this day who you will say. So, so remember one time, I don't have no exes, but if I had an ex, there was this guy that I used to date. And then remember that one time his wife had said something and like commented and then you commented back and then and then she nope. requested you as friends. She did. And then you accepted it. I and did not I, accept her. Oh, because I said don't. No, no, no. I left her in the thing we talked about and then I just deleted it. Oh, you right. You yeah, right. I never accepted her. You chose your day. Yeah, I chose. <laughs> but this is the other thing you got to know. See? My mama still, she be his friend. No, mom, mom, you know, mom's going to be cool with everybody. But you got to understand, I was just trying to be a mole. <laughs> if your page is Actually, that's blocked. True. That's true. Then we I just, see. because. We need the tea. Because truth be told, they was having some trouble. I'm, I don't know if you remember, I had told you. Oh, actually, you were spilling all and the And I was all up you in it, and I can't do that you if you hide stuff on your post. You know what my problem is? Y'all are, like, famous. So people be, y'all be having to, like, walk the line. And I'd be like, I don't care about yeah, that. Yeah, but, but that's part of the reason I also don't, um, I don't comment, I don't engage with a lot of people because I don't want people to be thinking nothing, you know. Yes, yes. You know, people do friend. Listen, I'm about to be she like, uh, excited, what's the friend on uh, that was shaking folk hand in uh, the Potomac? The blonde wig girl. Oh, uh, Karen. Karen? Karen. I'm going to have Karen energy because people <laughs> think friendship too that's easily. That's so true. And so I have to be careful with that yes. because if you do something cuckoo, yes. the internet's quick to label y'all was friends. No, I had her on my podcast. Yes. Relax. Yes. Um, so I have to be really careful about that. I agree. All of that to say, I, agree. I don't always comment on people's stuff. That don't mean I don't be looking. Amen. Amen. And when they had a bunch of tea and some stuff and was, was coming out, I said, oh. You were screenshotting and sending it. Oh, did y'all see this? Yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm a friend. It Let me see. Let tea. me see. That's the reason why. Yes. But also, we just went to Vegas, and one of our friends, we was friends with her ex. And she was like, unfriend her. And we was all in the car, and we said, one, two, three, and we unfriended. Who did we unfriend? Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Okay. I you know exactly who I'm talking about. Me, were you me, not in the front? You let were me not... look at the real. Who, who was in Vegas with us on, on the real? <laughs> oh, no. Our oldest friend that's not Kita. Oh, and actually, I was her friend on there, and I, I didn't was know too. that we wasn't supposed to be her friend. Yes, because though. they broke up very like amicably. That's true. That's but true. But then she was like, "No, unfriend yes. her," and we were like, "Oh, okay." But now, guess what? Now I can't see the tea That's because right. she be doing right. stuff. Yeah, she and she had good tea. She wanted us to unfriend. And actually, I, I to your point, I do whatever. You're my friend. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Yeah. If you want me to stay on and then just get the tea, I'll do that. But if you're like, no, unfriend, then, hey, we we blocking. And that's what happened. We was like, oh, dang. Okay. Bye. I was a little sad about it. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, that the Married to Medicine, they have been. They, <coughs> here's, okay, one more thing. Then we can move on. The other problem is 
Dr. G and his new girl live in that's Quad's house. <laughs> that's Never. Quad's old house. So then when Never. they went over to the house, uh, what's name? Uh, the I can't the uh, Dr. Jackie gonna say, didn't this used to be purple? <laughs> the paint in here, I'm I think not gonna Quad lie. had it as purple. What they did to it looked better though. Absolutely. Anything a purple on your wall. Your, and it was like the kitchen. Yes. Girl, purple is a no. But also, you know, y'all know that's disrespectful. Don't come in that. Yeah. It's now her house. You can't come in there and but be like. But then she tried to act all silly talking about they started talking about your ex and making it all about her. What did you expect? What did you expect? Get a new house. You get Literally get. Your, I'm not living here. You were on TV, sir. Girl. And in I don't. House. The fact that I can address my envelope the same. Mr. and Miss G. And put the same, same address, address. And it's and I couldn't have been talking to the no difference or to you and don't nobody know the difference. You Absolute, got to move. You got to move. I'm not living in this lady's house. It's not enough to change the paint color. No, it's not. I need a new address. I need a new address. I'm not, I'm not staying at that lady's house. Mm -mm. You crazy girl? No. Anyway, okay, let's get to uh, Selling Sunset because we are over did, time. Yes. Uh, did you uh, watch all of it? Yes. All right. First of all, I think I talked about Courtney with Courtney with this. I just really quickly want to talk about the character evolution of Chriselle. What is happening? She's a villain. I like her still, and I don't understand I don't like why her no people more. don't like her. I don't like her anymore. I stopped liking Am I the her. the problem? Is Chriselle the problem? After Christine left, I a little bit turned on her, <gasps> but I couldn't tell if it was full, full. But after this season, I'm like, Oh, Chriselle, you different. Why? I like her. Do you still? Yes. I think everybody else is the problem. Everybody. Everybody. Well, okay. Actually, what is true is that everybody is the problem. Okay. I also just think Chriselle is the problem, too. Amanda. Problem. Amanda is a little bit of a problem. Bree. I think Brie is self-sabotaging. I agree. Because I do not understand why this woman decided to have an attitude from the moment, whatever the girl's name is. Mm. I, the new girl. The new girl walked on the scene. It was so odd. It was such like mean girl energy and also like high school. It was. Like, oh, we're just going to be mean. Like, girl, grow up. And for why? why are you Pretending like you know me and you don't. Okay. You're on TV. Right. Okay. In addition to being on TV, you're Nick one of Nick Cannon's baby mamas. And you stay on TikTok. And you stay. If I saw you, I think I know you too. Okay. Hey, Brie. Hey, girl. Okay. I don't want to be your bestie. It was weird. It that was very weird. That energy was so weird. I think, I think she is ready to leave the show. I think when... Um, oh, that ending? She literally was like, F this show. Yeah. And I was like, oh, girl, we heard you. Yeah. I think she's about ready to go. Which... Uh, 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 the thing is, leave, girl. Do whatever you want to do. But the idea of getting a bigger commission at a company that's probably going to be doing less in volume is not the win you think it is. No. It's not the win you think it is. Mm -hmm. And at some point, being on Netflix and being part of the O group, they're bringing something to you. Absolutely. And that's what you... you he literally gave her a... What was it? Like a seven, eight yes. million dollar yes. sale. If you are bringing me the business, you absolutely deserve. That means people are coming to them Be right. because they trust them right. and they trust that they're going to put it in good hands. Without that them, yeah. go get it yourself then. Yeah. You so big, girl, go get the deal yourself. If you made the first Jay-Z, she... make another Jay-Z. Yes. Amen, facts, 100%. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Well, let us know how you all feel about Chrishell. I'm a little bit over her. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit over her. I think she's lasted long enough to be the villain. And so do you feel like in the Emma Chriselle situation, you feel like Emma's right? No, okay. actually. So you don't I like don't. Her I don't like none of them. That Maybe that's my truth. I think they're all a problem in different ways. Hello? Um, I don't like Emma. I don't like... Uh, actually, Mary didn't get on my nerves as much this season. Oh, yeah. She had a miscarriage, too. It was sad. Yeah, that was sad. I actually felt really yeah. bad for her. And maybe that's actually why. That's probably why mm -hmm. she kind of laid low. What about Chelsea, though? Chelsea is also a problem. She'd she, be a little bit problem. -y. I agree. She goes back and forth, though. She do. She goes back and forth sometimes. Sometimes I feel like her actual problem is uh, she gets real like, and this is what we should do, mm -hmm. and collectively, and then we'll all be better. And then she turns around and does like the toxic thing. Yes, yes. I think that's her biggest problem. She, oh, I didn't like when she what she was saying about Bree's situation because listen, 
rehab being one of Nick Cannon's baby mom, that's your business. Like, I mean, it's not, mm-hmm. I wouldn't sign up to do that. But Chelsea going around and like making everybody be aware that that is her position on that is, is a problem. Yeah, it's unnecessary. You gotta, you gotta chill out. You gotta mind your, you gotta step back, honey. Yeah. Cause she also, but, but Chelsea out here selling them houses. And so, and that's the thing. If Chelsea, Chelsea don't do nothing chick. else, she gon' she <laughs> she's real quick at the mouth, but she real quick to make a sale. She gon' and sell they don't a house. be small no. sales. No, no, Chelsea gon' sell a house. She about the only person in the office still working. Amen. Because I ain't seen Mary sell a house recently. Chriselle. Chriselle. Chriselle was on tour with uh, G. G. Yep. Oh, good memory. I think that's their name. Yes. Um. So Amanda, Amanda don't do nothing but decorate. Sometimes they don't even be calling her all the time to decorate the stuff. They really don't because they called. Emma, I mean, not Emma. They called. Um. Was it Emma? Nicole. Who's Nicole? Who's the other white girl? No, it's Nicole. Oh wait. So who is Emma? Emma is the one who she thinks she a Barbie doll. Oh, that's the one who is had that the Emma? PJ. That's the PJ girl. Oh, when I said who is wrong in the... I knew you meant Nicole. I meant Nicole. I didn't mean Emma. You're right. Okay, because she she, she come from money, apparently. I ain't know. Oh, Emma got money. Okay. All right. So then, really quick, before we close out then, this is just... Because you you can't talk about selling Sunset without talking about the fashion. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about uh, Homeboy and his two-year-old. Oh, my! that is part of my notes. Let's go there first, because fashion is the fun part. Lou... Oh my! Why it was that comedian who came in the office? Oh, oh. and clown! Oh, that man! I was cringing. I was cracking because up because I was like, "This is so embarrassing for him." Oh, but the also best. you can't date a two-year-old sir and not be expected to be addressed about it. Oh, she and then was she great. sat at that table with Chriselle and lied. That was the part that was I giving. Said, and that's exactly it was giving Hi. that yeah i'm here with chrishell she says she hates me oh my gosh she hates me she's yeah, so no. mean she actually just she's trying to kill me right now literally that's i what was, it was like giving. You, that's not what happened honey that was the only time i felt like chrishell was like right she said i did not say she, that. i did not say that i did not say that Ciao. the only other thing about chrishell i will say this okay this is all alleged from the show don't sue don't sue us. Nicole may have really did some drugs. Listen. Because every time Chriselle's like, I apologize. Oh, you want to act a donkey? I don't know why I'm apologizing because you actually are a drug addict. <laughs> Literally. She, be, she stands 10 toes down on that. <laughs> I'm only apologizing because it's the cordial, nice thing to do. She's, not oh, because I, I was wrong. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings when I stated the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry it affected you that way. Because you chose to do drugs and I saw you and I told people and now you're sad. I'm sorry that you're sad. Because Nicole should have just shoot, sued yes, her. Girl. I don't know if the producers got involved and was like, don't sue. Or if the producers got involved and was like, Chriselle, we know girl. you're right. But we like, we can't have yes. this out there. Girl. But every time Chriselle has a chance to back down. She be saying that. Chriselle be like, listen. Everything I said was the truth, though. I know I was apologizing five minutes ago, but now you're acting a fool. So guess what? It be cracking me. You're up. a drug addict. That Chriselle stands ten toes down on it, and I be cracking up. I will. I need to understand. She needs what's to bring the, the receipts at this point. Chriselle, bring the receipts because it is you alleged. keep saying absolutely. It's all alleged. We are, we're just repeating what we're just saying. What Chriselle says, we're not saying it's true at all. Right. We. Chriselle. I want somebody to have the receipts, though. I need her to have. Because either Nicole needs to sue or Chriselle got to shut up. Absolutely. Because one right the now, the jury's out at the best. The jury is out. Okay? <laughs> the jury is out at best. Uh, okay, get to the fashion so we can go. Okay, fashions. Who would you dress like on the show? Oh, Jesus. Chelsea, Chriselle, Nicole, Emma, Mary, Brie, or Amanda. I feel like, honestly, since Christine left, the fashions have not been fashioning the way I the agree. fashions were once fashioning on I, this show. 100%. Okay? I agree. Christine raised the bar. Problematic? Yes. Mm-hmm. Toxic? Yes. Yeah. Do I believe she lied about a lot of stuff? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Could this woman dress? Yes. Absolutely. It was so obnoxious, too. 
She was, but she would dress in ways that were um, impractical, but for whatever reason, it just worked for her. Yes, yes. These, I feel like they just be real impractical. I agree. Sometimes I'm like, what What the heck is happening? Uh, I know. I just was looking. Mm. At, so wait, what's your answer? My, I have two. Okay. Brie. I was going to say Brie. Brie be walking in with them power suits. Yes, yeah, she do. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I looked up two the other day. One Did of them, you? I said, "Ooh, girl, you got money." Yep. I'm not gonna get that. The other one I bought, I'm probably gonna return. I just wanted to see it in person. I, I just want to feel it, look at it, <laughs> put it on. Uh, but Bree's Bree. suits, Bree. man, I am here for it. Yeah. Okay, I think she dresses the best. Amanda, Amanda always looks like she's trying to me. Absolutely. And I don't like it. Oh, I hate I don't her outfits. like her outfits. I I feel her like looks. she's just like, is this off the runway? Put it on me. And she's just wearing it, but it doesn't look like it's her. Yeah, I agree. For whatever reason. It's her it's yeah. It's not of I hate it. Uh Chelsea she's just not my aesthetic. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. That's all I have to say about that. No. Uh Nicole. Uh, is Loki a little boring to me? Oh, she's so boring. Yeah, she's boring. I don't think she's realized she's on a show yet. Yeah. Uh, Emma, I think she's just going to work in her mind. Yeah, she But she is. hasn't realized, like, oh, honey. You can, like... This is on a global it's for platform. TV. It's you on, could, like... It's in 200 countries. You yeah. care a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am passion for God. Uh, um, and then Emma wants to be a slutty Barbie doll real bad. Oh, my God. I mean, that hoochie mama spirit is on oh, her. It's it a stronghold. Is. I hate it. I can't stand it. I don't like nothing she wears. No. Ever. Nothing. I think her jewelry is really cute. <laughs> nice gowns. Nice, beautiful gowns. Beautiful <laughs> gowns. That's about it for me. Yes. Uh, but I will say this. Chriselle sometimes also be coming through on the fashion. Oh, I was going to say, my people are Brie and Chriselle. That's mine. Yes. Brie and Chriselle. Chriselle be looking cute sometimes. Chriselle nails it sometimes. She be looking it's, great. I be like, okay, girl, yes. I see you. Chriselle nails it sometimes. And Brie with the power suits is is it for me. Yes. That's your answer? Those are my two. 100%. Okay, I love it. Um, did we cover everything? We did the fashion. Chriselle's, what's who's wrong? Oh, who do you think is wrong between Chriselle and Amanda? Amanda. Because you're talking about Amanda. First of all, Amanda was mad Amanda for Mary. Was wrong. She was mad for Mary. That Mary wasn't even. Uh, and Mary. Yeah, you're mad. But and Chriselle don't like that girl. I and when they that. get together, they fight. So, Amanda, why are you all in their business? And then why are you trying to make them be in the same space? Knowing that Chriselle, we just said Chriselle keeps accusing this girl of being a drug addict. Why would you? They shouldn't be around each other. Like, I don't, you should mind your business, Amanda. Mind your business. I don't think, I think Amanda was wrong. I, okay, so you're not wrong. I do agree that Amanda was wrong. My problem with Chriselle is that I feel like her on camera energy was on camera energy okay. and was not authentic. She could have apologized. They could have had a conversation. They could have done whatever off camera. The problem with Chriselle, she said it a little bit. And I was like, I was thinking this and I didn't have the words. She calls herself reactive. Mm -hmm. Not only is uh, Chriselle reactive, I think she always goes below the belt. Mm. And I think when she goes below the belt and she stays there too long, it draws out the argument and the mm. conversation longer than it should have. Yeah. So was Amanda wrong? Yes, I believe she was wrong. That's 100 percent true. But I also don't believe that Chriselle was right in how she handled it. Because remember, Amanda said, we texted last night. Yes. This is what she said. Yes. And then Amanda and then Chriselle came in and was like, I just want to talk yeah, yeah. because I feel like this energy and I was just so anxious knowing I was going to see you and we weren't friends. Well, girl, we could have resolved this last night and came in and hugged it out today. Yeah, but she also sent a four page letter via text. Who? Amanda. Because she was trying to, for days though, I don't like, I feel like Chriselle was doing it for the cameras and I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I don't trust, this is my problem with Chriselle. This is actually my problem with Chriselle right now. This okay. is why I think she's a villain. Um, I don't trust her energy. Okay. And I also think 
I also think she goes below the belt, which makes her a villain, and then she covers it up. It was just this time it was exposed. Because mm. I won't, I, yeah, I think she goes below the belt a little bit. She be saying so when she told that girl, you rearrange your whole face. <laughs> but I see, that's why I like her. Because listen, if you want smoke, it That's can why be you're that. a drug addict and you rearrange your whole and face. And it can be that. If you want the smoke, it can be that at any time. And that's why I like her. Because, yes, tell that girl she rearranged her whole face. Absolutely. To do that. Face. And she was just like. <laughs> yes. Because when she when Chriselle was dating Jason, a few of them was looking all. <laughs> she could, with you, y'all always got something to say. And now she moved on and fake married G. <laughs> and now y'all won't smoke. And Chriselle is like, you know, you know, my favorite. Wherever you pitch the tent is where we gonna have a circus. <laughs> Don't be mad because you pitched the tent and, and Chris Sheldon pulled up with the nose. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I love it. I love you, Chris <laughs> Keep selling your $5 million house in, in Ceno. That's what she's doing. <laughs> Keep selling them, girl. You she, got it. Also, okay, last thing because we really do got to go. <laughs> Brett, Brent, whatever his name is, Jason. I don't know the twins' name. They're, they're twins. That man is also toxic. Because why are you trying to force Lou to be best friends with Chrishell? Tell Lou to shut up. It's okay to have this awkward energy. Y'all are exes. And yeah. you're clearly still in love with Chrishell. And stop dating your employees. And stop dating your employees. Where is HR? HR at Netflix.com. Somebody do something. Because Somebody do something. Y'all acting like it's abnormal for her to not like her or have awkwardness or just simply be cordial. Oh, this is a reminder. That's not, that's common. That's expected. Yes, absolutely. Jason, be, stop being a weird. Like, yes. let this be so. Please. Going on vacations with him. And Chriselle, you know you. Don't go on vacation with them. She, well, she tried to make a good balance. She got a different house. They was mad. <sighs> Girl, but okay. Uh, the last episode is on the fifteenth. Is that the reunion, or are they dropping more? Mm mm. On oh, this column. All right, all right. Let me call you back in two minutes. Y'all know she likes to answer the phone. I know, Say but bye. mom called earlier. The only reason why I didn't answer, mom, if you're still on, is because Mel was doing the ad. Okay, I'm gonna call you back. Bye. Uh, all right, y'all watch the reunion so, so we, we can, can see. Talk about oh so wait, we we're not about. filming next week. Oh, that's the last thing we were gonna say. Thanksgiving done. Pulled up early. Early. So y'all won't see us in your feed next week. Watch an old episode or something. Buy it, do an ad or something. Just just put in GJ something. You can just go do <laughs> on that. one of the websites. Yeah. Put in GJ. All right, we are out, you guys. Please make sure you send your um, uh, pop the trunk stories to www.speakpipe.com. That sounds so naughty. <laughs> naughty. It sounds naughty. I don't. I feel weird saying it. Speak pipe. Speak pipe. Well, do it and leave a good one. But don't make it like 20 minutes, y'all. Don't do that. Happy Thanksgiving. See you guys in December. Bye. That's probably wrong. It'll It'll probably be be the end of December. It'll be November. It'll It'll still be November. November. Because because Thanksgiving's early. The Monday that we film is the first day of, oh, it's YSL. Oh, I'm going to have to, we got to film. And it's the opening statements for YSL Rico Trial. Oh. What you going to do? I'm going to have to balance my life. You need to have a podcast dedicated. Last thing I'm going to say, I found this podcast dedicated to reviewing Trump trials. Oh. If you did like, a, well, oh I guess gosh. you do on TikTok. Yes. That All right, y'all. Great. Bye. 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 Yes. All right. We're going to start. It's <coughs> Care Of's app. Stop. Makes... First position is better help. Am I looking at the wrong one? It's today, 1113. Girl, I'm in December. <laughs> Um, do I need to do an ad? Yes, girl. Okay, we're gonna do an we go we've talked about the podcast. <laughs> uh whether you have uh I'm just gonna say food restrictions. Whether you have <laughs> that was good enough. <laughs>